my 2023 Honda Rancher 424 4x4 and today we're going to install this 4,000 pound winch on here. <laughs> what do you think, Allie? Aww. Thumbs up. <laughs> Honda Rancher Foreman winch mount. Almost, almost fits in your hand almost. 2014 and up just in case you're wondering loosen the skid plate detach the front bumper oh great so i got a brand new winch to go on here but it requires a, a mounting plate because there's no flat surface to mount the winch to just went off-roading took her through the rhubarb oh my goodness she's got pine needles and all kinds of stuff going on getting her dirty brand new but what is this for that's the turbo boost it makes it go fast It's 2014 and up. This is a 2023. So I think this is actually upside down. It looks good right there, but everything's upside down, believe it or not. So on the four wheeler, it's gonna be, it's gonna be something like this. Upside down and inside out. So there's the bolts go down through pair lead. I pre-attached the pair lead and the winch, but I might have to take the winch off again. I'm not too sure. So it's a little bit heavy. I think I weighed the motor and the motor weighs 19 pounds with the cable. So with the bracket and fair lead, you're looking at probably 20, 25 pounds. So it's a little bit of weight there. So it's kind of weird how the thing mounts upside down, but that's the way it is. That's the way it goes, just like that. Install is a little bit tight and they want you to take the front bumper off so it's a little bit involved but it's only it's only nuts and bolts and there's going to be four on each side so a total of eight bolts holding this front bumper on one on each side and then in here there's another one there and another one down there and another one up here so there's three in here and the fourth one is right here up top and you were supposed to undo the skid plate and drop it down i don't think you have to take it all the way off but you're supposed to drop it down to get at get at those Woof. 
So I did some finagling. I actually had the winch on the plate originally. Took it off again. Get the plate in here. I just bolted two bolts to the outside. And these don't line up right now. Not, but if you give the plate a little bit of torsion, they will line up. So I'm probably gonna have to loosen these off again a little bit. So this is gonna be bolted up in here. What a contraption, oh my goodness. So I got everything kinda, kinda loose right now, but winch is on, fair lead is on, bracket is on, this is the front bumper. Oof. Haven't put the end on yet, but I do have the line coming through the fair lead here. I'll wrangle it in there. I might tighten up those winch bolts first. Well, I managed to wrangle the whole bumper in there and I tightened up the winch on the plate, but I left the plate loose on the bumper, if that makes any sense. I managed to, uh, I had to tuck in these these uh, wings, I don't know how to explain it, under this top plastic. But I managed to do that. And first thing I did was slip in these top bolts here. And uh, then the thing was just basically, it'll pivot a little bit since they go through this way. That'll give you a little bit of wiggle room. So, pulled this down, tucked in those tabs behind this. But man, things tuck in here. We got this bottom bolt lined up and started and same on the other side. But wow, that's a big winch and it just barely, it fits. Actually it fits good, but wow. She's just, she's crammed in there. <laughs> and I just got this tucked up right now so the line doesn't go slack. But so far so good. I might actually finish some of this up tomorrow. Ignition controlled accessory plug. Hmm. Interesting. up here Oof. wow she's tight this should come out huh. that's cool 2023 rancher Oof. Got the winch motor bolted in the front bumper. Now we just need to do the wiring. I think they recommend you put the contactor in here somewhere. There's a solenoid there. For some reason the covers are not completely over the terminals. Same as this one, it's not completely covered either. test out the contactor for the new winch. These are labeled, uh, this, these two red and black go out to the motor and these two go to the battery, so power in and power out. The controller just plugs in here. 
pretty straightforward. Okay, I got the positive and negative going straight to the battery. There is a compartment and access, so I might might have to put the contactor back there. I don't know yet. I'd rather have it high and dry, but we'll see. We'll see. There is some long wires. I think the long ones will go to the winch motor. So I'm just going to test the contactor right now because I'm not too sure how I feel about the rattle. The rattle that it has. This is the controller. It's pretty handy actually the way the controller just unplugs. And it has a weather seal here so you can cap it off with a rubber cap. This is the controller. It has a handlebar mount in and out. For some reason in is down. That sounds sounds good. Anyway, that sounds all right. You don't want to drain your battery. You should have the vehicle running actually when you're using a high amperage motor or a winch or something. But I don't even have the winch motor hooked up yet, but it does sound okay. It sounds like it's engaging both ways. I don't think it's sticking. So I'll try it. I just finished testing this contactor and it seems to be okay, even though it rattles. So I'm going to go ahead and wire it up and see what happens. I think I'm going to start at the front because there's some long cables to go to the contactor. So I think I'm going to start here and work my way back and see how long they are. Okay, I got the wires routed. I wanted to start here, but I had to drop them down from up above. So I dropped them down. There's a, there's a vertical tube where there's factory wires on the opposite side so I just use the same vertical tube as the factory uh, on the opposite side and uh, then they come here they avoid the suspension they avoid the steering and down so I still got to put the rubber boots on I'm just testing and getting it set up so now I need to finish Finish this end here and tidy up some zip ties or something. So it looks like they're going to be long enough to reach to the storage compartment. And I don't see any room here. I don't think this contactor is going to fit in here anywhere safely. So what I'll do is I'll run the wires all the way back to this trunk compartment. And I'll have to put contactor in here I guess seems kind of weird way back here but their wires are long enough and everything's plastic here so should be safe Okay, it's a little bit ugly, but the contactor fits back here. I got the wire coming in for the uh, controller. Um, there's a little peekaboo hole there that the wires fit through. This closes. There's a little channel here that the factory tail light wire comes down through. So, so this part's a little bit ugly, the fuse and the contactor, but the rest is turned out pretty good I think you can barely tell it looks like all factory EFI if you get a little bit close you can see this one with the black on it that's the power wire there and I ran the power wires to the motor to the winch motor there was a factory hole here and it's another one on the other side so I use those and then I just put some zip ties I'm not very impressed with these zip ties and I don't have snips here with me so 
Um, I can do better, but that's not too bad. That's not too bad, and it works. You can hear the contactor clicking, and the winch works. I need to tighten this up, but I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna go on top, either on top or down bottom here. But, we got this running in here. So I'll cluster it with these factory ones here. And this one here, it was in behind, but somehow I got those mixed up when I hooked the battery back up. So it was in behind here. So I can do that later. Step one, wake up for the gonna rise the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three. Real hard about what you want to be. Step four. Everybody just do your thing. You'd probably be faster and stronger when the bike is running, when the alternator is charging. But 4,000 pounds, so it's probably overkill. It's better than, better than something that would leave you stranded. I'd rather be overkill than, than the opposite. Yeah. I think the best thing about the winch is if you get stuck in the bush by yourself, you can usually get out of there. But they're also good for lifting the plows up and down and whatever else. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up. Be a good motor is here on this side it's really close on the skid plate i drop the skid plate down it separates right here uh the bolts are here here and one more down there to get the bumper off as well as this top as well as this top bolt here to get the front bumper off I did that. It was getting a little dark and late when I did that. The wires are here on this side. The motor is here on this side. On the other side, there's a free spool mechanism. In the front, you got the fair lead. And over here is a free spool mechanism and planetary gear. This is a big planetary gear. That's why I went for the 4,000 because if it doesn't have the planetary on this end, uh, I think they're pretty much useless if they don't have the, the big planetary gear on this side. So yeah, they have a better braking system and uh, better planetary gear. This is where I put the winch controller for now. It's accessible. It was either under or over, and I'm not really sure what's better. But I decided to put it on the opposite side of the throttle, so a lot of the functions are over here, electronic functions. And this side is just throttle and brake. So you, you might be on the throttle, you might be on the brake. So I put it over here on this side. 